So we've just had an exciting delivery, haven't we? We have. We haven't even opened it up yet. Please. No, but these are, they, they've turned up a little earlier than we were expecting. But our um, new electric wax warmers have arrived. So these are touch lamp ones. So they come in like three different heat and light settings, which you can just touch to turn on and off. Uh, we've had them on pre-order for our, on our website for a while. They were due to come in this Friday, but they've turned up today, which is Tuesday. So, exciting. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do a nice video on those later and um, we'll get them on the website as well. So that's, that's great news. But anyway, today has been, well, as per most of these vlogs, really, it's been another busy day so far, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. <laughs> Made lots of mini mail boxes again. Yeah. As you can see, we've got some gaps here that we need to make some more of on top of our boxes. We've got a few here ready to go, um, all packaged up. There's a few more there which we need to package up. Those ones there are just sort of general orders such as these. These ones we're just waiting for some more baby powder and then they'll be packaged up and sent. In the top there we've got a couple which we're just waiting for a few bits. Oh, oh yes, that's it. Those ones are waiting for the warmer. And then they'll be ready to go, won't they? They will, yeah. So lots and lots of orders getting out today. Hopefully, yeah. And these are the ones, these are what Tamer's just made and they're all ready to have the, lay, the, the leaflets and the stickers put on and then they'll be ready to go. And what I've got to do in here is, so what we do is every time we package up an order, we write down, um, the, the order number is six digits long and we just write down the last three digits. And then what I do is I go onto the computer and I process that order. So then what that does is it then sends the customer a dispatch notification to let them know the order's on the way. It then logs it with Royal Mail and it archives it off. So that's what I'll be doing shortly. And as you can see, we do these in sort of batches just so, um, just so the customer gets the dispatch email when they know it's definitely being picked up, which is good. Because what we've done before is actually print out loads of orders in the morning, process them all so that all the dispatch emails are sent. And then when we go to make, uh, go to package up the orders, some items we might not have in stock. So then, you know, they're not actually being sent out until the next day, which isn't great. So we're just improving on that. What we can do to speed this up even quicker is actually get a barcode system set up. So when we print out these orders and they're all packaged up, instead of writing down number and then processing them manually on the computer, I can just scan the barcode and then it will automatically do it. Where's Willow? There she is. Hello, go are you all right? <laughs> we have a visitor this week. We have Meg. <laughs> Meg is my nan's dog and um, she's gone on holiday for the week. So we have Meg with us, but she's no bother at all. She just sits there and uh, sleeps most of the day, to be honest. <laughs> These are absolutely gorgeous and has three settings. So you can decide if you want them to be really bright and obviously the brighter they are, the stronger the scent throw because it will be hotter. Shall we have a look? It's the first setting, second setting and the third setting. And the, in this box you can see the, the picture is a little bit lighter but it's still equally as gorgeous. And you can take the dish off as well which is fantastic and it's a smaller dish than what our warmers are, but our replacement dishes fit perfectly as well. So this is the ruby red one. And as you can see, if we switch it off, the picture and the pictures on the website is slightly darker than what the actual, the one is turned up is, uh, which surprised us a little bit, but it still looks fantastic. And then all it takes is just a little touch on the base or Yep, just a little touch on the base to go through the three different settings. And as you can see, it does get really bright. You can already feel the heat coming from this, so this will melt the scents absolutely perfectly. And they look lovely at night time all the time, won't they? They will indeed, yeah. Definitely. So we try the blue one out. It's the lower setting. And as the, the brighter the light gets, you can see it really does show off the nice crackle. Oh, these these are really stunning looking lamps. And they're quite glittery, so when you walk past them just off, they look really incredible. Yeah, you can see how shiny they are, the, the chrome. They're stunning. This is the multicoloured one. The 
multicolour is lovely because you can see a few different colours through it, which is lovely. Yeah, that is a stunning one. This has been the most popular. I think we've only got like one or two left in stock, actually. I think we have, yeah. And then the green, which would work really well in our living room. Yeah. Looks almost like a forest pattern, doesn't it? Yeah, so these are, these are stunning. These are on the website now, available to buy. We have them in stock. All the people that pre-ordered them, um, they are going to be sent out today. They come with the, the standard bulb that you get in most of the warmers, the little sort of LED one, if this focus. And it also comes with a replacement bulb as well. Because as you know, the um, wax warmers, the bulbs don't tend to last forever, do they? They don't, no. They don't last that long at all, to be honest, and especially if they're dimmable as well. So um, yeah, it comes with a replacement bulb, which is, which is handy. That is really handy. So let us know which one you prefer. So what are you up to this morning? I'm having a browse for lots of autumn scents and possibly Christmas scents as well. We're going to buy lots and lots of samples and get testing, aren't we? Yeah, so we've, um, we've finalised the September subscription box, mm -hmm. which has some autumn-like scents, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Um, but yeah, now we need to finalise our autumn collection. We've got quite a few, but um, yeah, we're just finalising the rest, which we'll be launching very soon which is oh, rather exciting, isn't it? Autumn is probably my favorite type, time of year, um, not only for scents, but I mean, because they're, they're generally the more musky, woody type ones, which I absolutely love, mm. but also just this time of year, autumn, October, like rain, October time, yeah. My favorite thing is, um, is sitting there with the window open and listening to the rain come down. I absolutely love that, it's so relaxing. It is. Yeah, but um, yeah, so autumn, and, and the crispy walks over the park with Willow in the mornings, when it starts to get a bit frosty later on. That's, um, I love that. So yeah, all, all the sort of nice scents that, you know, you can imagine make you feel all nice and warm and cozy. That are, that are ones I like, really nice on the lead up to winter. So yeah, that's what we're looking for at the moment, isn't it? It is, yeah. And I'm um, going through some more ideas for Christmas as well. We've got, we've got all our scents worked out that we want to try. So we've just got to buy them all in and test them, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so so that, so that's very exciting. Yeah, and that's all, it is all exciting. We love doing this sort of thing, don't we? We've got two very sleepy doggies on our hands today. Meg holding the willows, please. Hello, Meg. <laughs> She's very sleepy today, and so is Willow. They had a fun night last night chasing the ball, so they are all rather tired this morning. At least that frees our time up to, uh, instead of playing ball games here, we, uh, we can actually do some work, can't we? That's true. <laughs> So this morning we are going to be making lots of our mini mail boxes, aren't we? We are, and I'm starting right from the beginning and folding the boxes and placing in the paper. Yeah, so our mini mail boxes are probably our most popular product. Well, they certainly have been for the past uh, probably 12 months or so. They are these. And um, just quite, quite straightforward, we have two different types. We have these family favourites and then we have another one which is uh, clean and fresh. And all they are are little heart shapes wax melts, um, four rows, four different scents. This one, as you can see, is baby powder, peony blush, black cherry, and blueberry and vanilla. And um, what we're gonna show you now is just the process we go through on making these. It's quite a, it's not a complicated process, but it is quite, it takes a while to do, doesn't it? It's a very long labor intensive process. Yeah, so the first step is Tamer makes up our boxes. As you can see, we, um, they come, flat like this and we just have to fold them up and put in our pre-cut paper so they look like this and then we'll have quite a few rows of these um because how many do we make at a time probably was it about 45 from one batch is about 45 boxes so one batch of wax that we pour out which i'll show you in a little while we managed to pour 45 boxes um you know that's 45 of each of each box yeah. We now have another scent all ready to pour mini melts in. I have added in our black colouring and I'm now stirring in the black cherry fragrance oil. And then as soon as we're all mixed in, we'll head over here to Paul and he's in the middle of pouring peony and blush mini melts. So 
So I mix both directions and give it a good old mix up so the fragrance oil mixes in really well with the wax and the colour. Now we'll head over to where Paul is. How are you getting on, Paul? It's going alright, isn't it? It is. This is a very long process, isn't it? We've got our piston funnel, which helps a lot. Yeah. Before this, we used to use just the jug to pour in, which was quite messy. It was a very messy job, wasn't it? So this it? works quite well. It's very accurate as well. We're currently it? working on a, a way of um, pouring these a lot quicker, actually, by making our own moulds where we can just literally pour the wax straight on top and then scrape off the excess. That'll make it so much quicker and easier. Streamline the process. Until then, we're just using our piston funnel. We can get through them quite quickly, so that's all right. And as you can see, there's quite a few here. There's about 45 boxes worth out of each, each one of these. Once we've done around, these, these are all the family favorite ones and these are all the blue and fresh ones. So I won't take long. So we're just pouring all the melts now, haven't we? We have. Set. So as you can see, they're all here, nicely poured out, little spillage, <laughs> nice, all nicely poured out, so we've just got to wait for them to set, as these are quite small they don't take too long to set, which is good. It is. And then that will be on to getting them all in the boxes. As you can see we've done a couple already, just of ones we had left over. And as you can see, this is the process. They all have to be placed in by hand. And there's quite a few rounds here. This is the first batch. Um, after we've done this, we'll do a round of the family, uh, the clean, clean and fresh. fresh. And then we can get them all stick it up. Yep. So they're all in the boxes with, with the leaflets and everything if I can open it. As you can see inside the box, it has a menu leaflet with all of the safety information on the back, the how-to instructions, and then it's all sealed up with a nice little sticker. So we have to do that for all of them, get the stick, get the, the branded labels on the front, and then job done. Yeah. So now we have quite a few of these very nearly done. Just got to put the last row in. But they're getting there now, aren't they? Yeah, we're getting there. So we've got Baby powder, peony and blush, black cherry, and we're now putting in blueberry vanilla. Yeah. Which is what Amy was doing right now. So as you can see, it's quite a manual process putting these together. It is very manual. Each mini melt was placed by hand. But our customers absolutely love these. They do. They're a great way to sample some of our scents, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And this is what's next. So what we do is we fold over the papers put one of our stickers on and then it's one of these leaflets which is how to use them and we recommend using like three or four at a time for optimal scent throw, some safety on the back and then it's the menu card so it tells you which scent is which and as you can see it marries up to the scent that's in the box on the and, on the, well. and on the back we've got the safety information, the CLP information, all that kind of stuff and then we we'll close it all up and one of these stickers go in front and then that box is finished and all ready to go. So that is how we make our mini mail boxes. It is. These are available buy one get one free on our website. So um, head over and, um, and sample them. A lot of our customers have been asking us for samples of our, of our wax melts, particularly on scents that they're not too sure about. Um, so these are our cozy pods. These are um, a real top seller of ours. This is, you know, that's what you can see all of the orders there and on our cozy pod wall over there. This, this is what we sell. These are 100, 110 grams. They last for about 100 hours. And what people do is they either cut these up into pieces and use a small piece of time or they, they literally just get a spoon and just sort of scoop it out. And it works really well and our customers absolutely love them. We sell thousands of them every, every single month. Our monthly subscription box has four of these. But we sell these individually on our website for $5.99. And for new customers, I mean a lot of new customers, they do buy them because we also, we also sell them in bundles. So a bundle of four of these is $21.99. And then we do bundles of eight, 12 and 16 as well. But um, for new customers, obviously that, with some comments we've had is, you know, 
for a particular sim that you might not be too sure about, um, it can be quite a lot, isn't it? Because if you, if you spend six pounds on, on this one, for example, Rhubarb and Rose, but you really don't like it, then that could be wasted. Um, and also some of our, a lot of our existing customers as well, they mentioned that similar sort of thing. So for new scents, what they'd like to do is try a little bit first to see what they think. So we took that feedback on board and this morning we've had delivered our one shot tester pots. So these are literally just you know one shot basically. So instead of 110 grams, it's 25 grams. And the intention here is these will be sold as tester pots. Um, they won't be, they won't have like a nice branded sticker on them. They'll just have like a, a thermal printed black and white sticker on the side here. Uh, and the idea here is people can get one of these in a scent, a brand new scent that they haven't tried before, and they just tip the whole thing in their wax warmer. And if they like it, they can then upgrade and buy the large one, which would last, you know, multiple, multiple uses. Lots and lots of times you can use that. So this, these are the, the little pods. Um, as you can see, they're very, very small, 25 grams, uh, completely recyclable. Obviously they're, they're, they're plastic. We, we try our best to steer away from plastic as best we can, but at the moment they're just nothing, nothing suitable. We're looking into getting our own compostable plastic ones made. Of course, they're quite a lot more expensive than we have to buy in you know, a big bulk. And if they're custom made to us, then of course there's the initial setup fees, there's the, the manufacturing costs. So that's all something we want to work towards, but it's just a bit too soon for us at the moment. Um, and I've filled one up over here actually. So this is just sitting. So you can see just a one shot pod, a little tester pot. So these will be available on the website soon. We're not quite sure how we're going to advertise these on the site yet, because we, we've got to be careful. Um, the main thing for us obviously is at the moment, these sell really, really well. So what we don't want to do is run the risk of just everyone buying these, because of course that will, that will damage us more than anything. But uh, it's, a, it's a really great way of testing our, some new scents that you haven't tried before, before upgrading to the, the larger Cozy Pod.